We are staying at the Arusha Serena Hotel Resort and Spa. Arena Hotel is still civilization in the third largest city in Tanzania. One comes to this hotel either prior to the start of a safari to recover from the long flights or after the safari to recover from the long days. The Arusha Hotel is located in the countryside. Lots of sounds and noises of people walking to and from work or wherever they're going. Walls surround the hotel and the gate is kept closed unless you have business inside the hotel. Or our guest comes through the gate and down this little road. This hotel, an old coffee plantation, is something spectacular. This is the lobby of the hotel, very pretty. The lobby and bar, the dining area. The most incredible pineapple I've ever had at the morning buffet. The breakfast buffet is included in the room price. Lovely buffet it is. And there are just flowers everywhere. And down in the valley could be slave quarters. And maybe they were once upon a time but today it's a conference center. Outside of the lounge are all of the circular rooms, all about the same size. I'm gonna guess about 350 square feet. So with one last look at the Arusha Serena Hotel, it's off to the Safari Game Lands and the Serengeti as we begin formally the safari. Ngoro. We have like two days there. Two days, yeah. yeah, two nights in Gorongoro. So uh, if you have anything you need to know, any question, you are free to ask. After a two and a half hour drive from Ashura, we come to the first stop of the day, a Maasai village. Well, we're on our way to the Serengeti. The first stop of the day is a Maasai village surrounded by traditional thorn bushes to keep the uh, alligators, nope, wrong animal, uh, the lions and the leopards and the hyenas out. A welcoming ceremony for us by the Maasai. Inside the village, the higher men can jump, the better of a wife they get. Assuming they have the right number of cows, of course. And it's at least 90 degrees outside. It's warm. Pink contest. <laughs> now we go inside a hut. And uh, what we use, like our mattress, is cow hide, cow leather. It's a mattress. And Maasai house, they made out of a use a acacia tree like this one, and also we use the grass and cow pie, cow poo. Mm -hmm. We used to build in Maasai house. Very nice. Yeah. Ceiling okay. support. Water. So I am purchased a necklace made by Noshi that I think is very pretty. Now we leave this village of 80 and head to lunch. We had lunch at the Serena Lake Mayana Hotel. Very pretty, nice buffet. The hotel has a lovely affinity pool and the view of the lake in the distance. Reading at the hotel. 
We're in the Nagoro Crater Serena Lodge, and this is the view outside our room. Here is the bedroom with beautiful animal decorations on the wall. The computer desk on the other side. A nice bathroom, a walk-in shower, a pre-dinner show. <laughs> The day dawns rainy, and today is our first chance to see animals. What will we see? That is the crater in white below, Obs totally obscured from the rim by clouds. What will we see from down there? Well, we're going to find out. But this is a Maasai giraffe. It is a, it is a male, okay? Mm -hmm. To identify between a male and female, you have to look on top of the horns. The female, they have a, a small horns with a tufted hair mm -hmm. on top. And the male, they have a big horns with no tufted hair to the top. And wow. they, have a, they have a hump between uh, two horns, which look, uh, you can see it, it looks like, like, like another horn, third horn, mm -hmm. but that's a hump. The female, they do not have much, a big, big hump like that one. We are at the base of the crater, Nangororo crater, in the rain. And they have restrooms in the middle of the African plains. Hippos in the water. And those are baby hippos. African Cape buffaloes. And what are the white birds next to them? Happy. These are cattle egrets. One in the front. Rat gazelle. Yeah. You see the female and the male are differences? Oh, you can yeah, see the gotcha. female there, they have her, uh, the horns are not very big like this one. Mm -hmm. Also, the size of the body are small. There are signs that tell you where things are, like the hippo pool. And a lot of elephants. There, they are moving. And now we proceed to our picnic lunch in the Nagoro Goro uh, crater. Zebra crossing the road. Zebras right next to the road. And there are wildebeest in the distance in the rain. There is a baby hiding behind its mother coming around. There it is. The baby is under one day old. There is a baboon approaching our vehicle. Family of baboons, babies and adults, coming right at us. You can't see any of them, but there are over 25,000 animals wandering around. In summary, what can one say about a day safari adventure in Nagoro Goro Crater? Very rough roads, lots of animals, you'll see them all. But sadly, you're often going to see the animal in the distance as a speck, and you're going to need incredible telephoto lenses to take a picture of the black rhino or the lions. The drive to the Serengeti begins with a giraffe eating from an acacia bush. And the, this the is ones. a baby giraffe on the ground. 
is the site where Richard Leakey found the oldest human remains, Lucy, five, three to five million years old. So here's Janice standing next to Lucy, and you can see that Jenny, Janice is a little bit bigger in her head and in her skeleton. Nothing like peeing into a thorn bush with a bunch of storks on the other side of the lake. This is a gate from the Nagorogoro Conservatory to the Serengeti. We are now at the wildebeest migration, about a million all around us, constantly moving north. Seeing wildebeest off the roads. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's awesome. There's just hundreds. In the midst of the wildebeest are zebras. It's a secretary yeah. bird. They yeah. hunt snakes. Yeah, they eat snakes. And there, sitting on the grass, is a cheetah. Cheetah rolling on the ground. Who's he going to jump on? They're saying about let sleeping lions lay. This is a sausage tree and each of these fruits can weigh up to 10 pounds. Oh, the elephant is nursing the mother. And with the sun setting, our first night in the Serengeti comes to a close. The next day is ballooning, starting at 4.30 in the morning. It's sunrise, and we are going ballooning. The basket is on its side. And that's what the balloon looks like. And then we're up and moving. Okay, uh, ground speed at the moment is 14 kilometers per hour. <laughs> we're descending, and all those things that look like a rock in the middle of the pool uh, are hippos. We're at treetop level here. Oh, they're running. There, one cheetah is the extent of animals we've seen. With two cubs, at least there's one. Land. Well, there is a lot of reasons because we are alive, because it's good. Uh, but uh, it comes tradition since the second flight in France in 1783. Let's take a closer look at our safari vehicles. Land cruisers, four-wheel drive, pop-up tops. These tug vehicles could hold seven people, but they only put six in them. Perfect for driving on these dirt roads that is all the type of roads available in the Serengeti and actually in the Noragoro crater as well. Loon ride you know over, it's time for oh, a mid-morning game drive. Yeah. That is a leopard turtle who is stuck too close to the road and some of the zebras are hugging and the rolling is to get the insects off. Wow, I've never seen that. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
So how how long ago would they have been born? Uh, not more than a month. No. That is a female. Yeah. The one on the but left is a male. Tell the difference between a male and a female. Oh, the females are browner. Yeah, somehow, sometimes they tend to be browner. Don't be shy. A group of ostriches. We will expect the address. A tree full of lions everywhere. They're up there to avoid the flies. We've got two adults and one baby. So lions can climb trees. So don't try to... Male lion is too heavy and too big to climb this tree with the females. Well, we're even closer to the tree. They're almost on top of us. Now we're going to look at what the Serengeti Serena Lodge in the central Serengeti really looks like. Looking up towards the bar and dining area. And this is the reception area. Looking at the hotel activities, yes, the balloon leaves at 4.30 and is done about 9. It's an hour drive away, and the meals are pretty much Serena standard. Sadly, like all Serena hotels, it's not handicap accessible. There are no elevators, and if you're in a wheelchair, you're not getting even into the bar, much less the dining room. The blue and black flags everywhere show the type of insect infestation underway, our danger, and today it's the tsetse fly. Coming out onto the balcony, this is the view of the Serengeti from the balcony. Lovely. In summary, this is a very modern, nice room. And this is the way we're heading towards the uh, western Serengeti today as gray crown cranes attempt to cross the road in front of us. And that is a warthog. He's debating whether to charge us or not. These are topies. There is a vulture on top of this tree. A three hour morning drive between lodges ends up at the Kirawawa Serena camp. It's a tent camp. Path one takes to get to the rooms. And here's our room, our tent, tent number four. Each tent has a name, and this is the Dick Dick tent. Just an absolutely gorgeous view from the uh, porch of the tent. Now, how does one get into the room? There's no door, but there is a zipper that is kept down at all times. And here's what the interior of their tent looks like. With heavy mosquito netting, a nice king-size bed. Nice bathroom. This is the dining room tent. The safari day begins by boarding our four-wheel drive jeeps. And the vans are off. And it's down the uh, bumpy, dirty, dusty road. Our final day in the Serengeti begins with a morning game drive and a lion. This lion is passing right behind our vehicle about 10 feet away. This one's about 20 feet away from the car. And leaving. And leaving. Tired of us getting out of here. They heard of Cape buffaloes sniffing us to see what we are. A hippo crossing the field. Walks. Heading towards a baboon. He is lumping something. Yeah. Uh -oh. mm. Whoa. Whoa. I'm playing. Whoa. <laughs> 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 
Cobras and Crocodiles. I can't see anymore, so I need to... And there is a crocodile coming out of the water. Well, part of the road requires going across this. There they go. The hippos are watching the people cross. There is our airplane. So our talc bags are being loaded up to take out. Perhaps those two airplanes holding about 15 people each. So the plane holds 12 people. Taking off. Welcome to Zanzibar. Water looks a little rough here outside of the hotel. Crossing the hotel is a mosque, and the women go upstairs. These colors are for the anniversary of the revolution. This is a seafood market, restaurant, and this is the main port of Zanzibar. Some of these boats you have to walk out to to get on. This is the cheapest market on the planet, and it, the food is 100% unsafe. Yes, you have to keep flies off the food. City market, selling pineapples. Jumbo. Day morning begins here in Zanzibar. The final day of the tour begins with breakfast at the Park Hyatt Zanzibar. Fruits and those bananas are marvelous. One of the things you can have here is coconut water from fresh coconuts. Abdominal misunderstanding. <laughs> <laughs> Don't panic. Seven pepper con put in hot water, drink, walk five, ten minutes, then it's but Janice is smelling lemongrass. How does it smell, Janice? It is wonderful. It is so sweet and so intense. Yeah. Mm. The question is, how does one get inside this tent without a door? Well, what you do is get on your hands and knees, unclasp a lock, and then you pull another zipper like that, and you're ready to go inside. So go inside. Well, come on in, Janice, and stop. Yeah.